Number four from the 2018 SQA Higher Maths Paper 2. Three mark question for completing the square. It simply says, express this in this completed squared form for three marks. Now, quite often with these ones you can do it in your head. But here in the marking scheme we'll say, if you do write down the answer to this in the head, they're going to be a bit more generous this time. They're going to give you two out of three. You certainly won't get the full marks. Although I noticed that there was a clause in the marking scheme that if you do just write down the answer, but then check it by multiplying it out to show it comes to this again, they will give you the three out of three. But there's a straightforward technique that you know anyway. The simplest form of complete the square is when it just says x squared. So if there's anything at all in front of it, take that out as a factor. Now you've got two choices. You can either take it as a factor of all three parts, or just take it out as a factor of these two and ignore that 7 and let it float at the side. That's what I do. So taking out negative 3 means dividing by negative 3. So that just leaves x squared, but that leaves plus 2x. I'm going to leave a little gap, and I'm not going to use that 7. You could put minus 7 upon 3 in if you like, but I think it just makes it a bit messier than it needs to be. Now, the whole point of that was it's easy to form the square from these two parts of its expanded form, because you're just playing between the two forms. The form here, where it's in a bracket, and then the expanded form, because you know the connection. If you've got a bracket squared, it'll be square the first, so that's definitely x. It'll be square the last, well, I don't know that, but twice the product should come to this. So twice this number times x makes 2x, so that must be a plus 1. And as soon as you know that, you can pop that back in, that was a 1. Now, I sort of said straight away, if you're doing it this way, you get marked for taking that negative 3 out. Whether you just take it out of those two or all three, it doesn't matter. Now, the point is, though, this expression I've written here isn't the same as that. Negative 3x squared makes negative 3x squared. Negative 3 times 2x, 2x makes negative 6x, and the 7 was there. But there's an extra negative 3 times 1 that shouldn't be there. And that negative 3 times 1 will have to be cancelled out. And to get rid of a negative 3 times 1, you do a plus 3. And that's, what to give, that's what's going to give you the 10. I skipped a mark. There was a mark for getting this little bracket completed by putting a 1 in, half of that number. And then the final part was for sorting out the C. Now that's by far the quickest way of doing it. And of course afterwards we just check that quickly by just multiplying it all out and see if it comes to that. There is another way of doing it, which is to expand this part. So that says you've got A times square the bracket. So you've got square the first, plus twice the product, plus square the last, plus C. And if you multiply that all out, you'll have a quadratic. You'll have AX squared. Then you'll have 2ABX. Then you'll have AB squared plus C. And you'll notice in that you've got the quadratic that matches this one, where, well, A is obvious, where the coefficient of X is the, maybe I should put the plus in with it, but I know it's positive anyway, 2AB. And the C, the constant, is A squared, AB squared plus C. And then equating that with the original one, you've got the A is negative 3, the 2AB is the negative 6, and the AB squared plus C is the 7. Quite a lengthy method this one, you're better off just doing that. So from the first one, putting that in, 2 times A is negative 6, because it's 2 times negative 3, so negative 6B is negative 6, well that just means B is 1, divide them out. Putting both those values into this, You've got this, a is negative 3, b is 1, plus c should make 7. Well, that's a negative 3 to go across as a plus 3, which means c is 10. But doing it this way, you get the first mark for expanding this side. You only get one mark for all of this, finding those three values. And the last mark's when you finally put it all together. So it equals a negative 3 times x plus b, 1 squared, plus c, which was 10. Then you get the last mark. Simple test. That's the better one. Less ink on the paper.